Hi everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly. So I'm going to be doing some fun facts about the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Walt Disney came up with the idea to do a retelling of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves when he was 15. The 1934 Silly Symphony cartoon called The Goddess of Spring was made primarily as a test reel to see if the animators could create a convincing human female, human female, <laughs> could create a convincing female human character. Originally, the movie was budgeted at $250,000, but after production ran over, it ballooned to $1.5 million, an enormous sum in the 1930s. Walt was forced to mortgage his home to pay for the production. Lillian Disney, Walt's wife, thought the movie would bomb. Such a supportive wife. It took almost two years to come up with the final renderings of the seven dwarves. Rejected names for the dwarves included Jaunty, Blabby, Dirty, Gabby, Biggie Wiggy, Gaspy, Gloomy, Awful, Deefy, Hoppy Jumpy, Hotsy, Nifty, and Shifty. Six of the dwarves have eyebrows modeled after Walt Disney's. Happy Wit was the exception. His eyebrows were white and bushy. Legendary voice actor Mel Blanc, best known as the voice of Bugs Bunny, was originally cast to be the voice of Dopey, but he was made mute instead. Lucia Laverne, the voice of the Wicked Queen, was able to achieve the raspy old hag's voice by removing her dentures. If you watch closely, you will notice that after Snow White is awakened by the prince's kiss, she kisses six of the dwarves goodbye. She does not kiss Sleepy. The prince was intended to be a prominent character, but the difficulty found in animating him forced Walt to reduce his part significantly. 19-year-old Adriana Casalotti voiced Snow White. Walt wanted to keep Snow White's voice special, so he held Adriana to a very specific contract, and she was never allowed to perform on stage or film again. But Adriana did sneak in another uncredited voiceover in The Wizard of Oz in the scene where the Tin Man sings, If I Only Had a Heart. She is the voice that says, Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Songwriters Frank Churchill and Larry, Larry Mori composed 25 songs for the movie, though only seven were used. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was the first film to ever release a motion picture soundtrack. A short film sequel titled Snow White Returns was planned. It never left the pre-production stage, and no reason and no reason is known why Walt decided against making it. After the film's run at New York City's Radio City Music Hall, many of the velvet seat upholstery had to be replaced. Young children were so frightened by the sequences in the movie that they were that they wet their pants and concert. The seats. Snow White was the highest grossing film ever for exactly one year. It was surpassed by Gone with the Wind. Okay, the profits from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves allowed Walt to build Disney Studios in Burbank. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.